Hello, my name is Steve Dinkin. I'm president of the National Conflict Resolution Center. I want to wish you all a very happy new year. Uh, this coming year, we're going to be addressing some of the most critical issues in our society. We're going to be dealing with polarization and intolerance across the country and across the world. We're going to be addressing uh, the, the mass incarceration that we're seeing that's so prevalent with all of our youth in the pipeline to prison. Uh, we're also going to be looking at the Me Too movement and harassment issues in the workplace that keep popping up every day in the news. And finally, we're going to be looking at the issues around freedom of expression on college campuses, really working with our youth and how they're interacting in higher education. So today, I want to begin by discussing polarization and intolerance across our community. It's really become a very serious issue and it, it, it became uh, so prevalent in our own community last year with the unfortunate shooting at the Chabad House in Poway. That incident really brought home to our own community the same type of uh, mass shootings that are happening across our entire society. So as an organization, the National Conflict Resolution Center is looking for a solution, a way, a path forward. In fact, we are finding different types of processes and tools to help our own community uh, move forward and come up with solutions. So we have developed a process, it's a restorative dialogue process where we can bring people from across society together in a room in a, in a circle format dialogue where they can be very vulnerable and open to try to really tackle some of the issues that are dividing us, such as anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, racism, and other things that are pulling us apart. And so for the first time, what we can do is bring together people from the Islamic community, people from the Jewish community, people from the African American community, the Latino community, young and old people uh, and elderly, all together in a room uh, to try to tackle some of these issues and come up with solutions. So for the first time, people who are not typically interacting with each other will be in the same room together to come up with uh, solutions. And I, we find as an organization that's so critical is to have a dialogue even with people who uh, look different than yourself. And so for the coming year, we are going to have a series of dialogues across different corners of our community, bringing people together to come up with solutions and find a path forward.